it unfairly. I followed the process for the complaint and I wasn't hurt. I was uh, I was fired because of that and we're here to tell legislators to stop rolling back our rights and we, we need our rights. We need all equality for everybody and if we don't have those rights to back us up, what else are we going to do for our families? That places like Walmart and place other large corporate interests aren't getting away with saying, you know, this guy needs the promotion because he brings home the bacon. That's a lie, right? Well, women's, yes, women are bringing home the bacon in so many households in this family. Yes. We need to make sure they get paid fairly. Yes. That's right. right. So we uphold the right for women to be treated fairly um, by their employers and seek justice when there aren't. That's what this is about, an opportunity to seek justice because um, we need a government that is for everybody that's right. and not just a select few. Woo! And that's what we're seeing. So we're standing here today uh, making sure that they don't take that ability away, um, that we're not taking away rights because that's not creating a single job. Uh, Walmart, unfortunately, has been a symbol of pay discrimination with so much evidence piling up over the years. Um, the Dukes versus Walmart case, they had so many women, the Supreme Court didn't know what to do with it, right? right. And in the decision, it cre uh, the decision, unfortunately, created a huge hurdle for women to seek justice. And now the state legislature and Governor Walker is trying to create another hurdle and make that road steeper for economic security for women in Wisconsin. And we say no. We say no! We say no. no. So, 9 to 5, our members, our partners, uh, Equality Wisconsin standing here with us, and uh, Citizen Action in Wisconsin, and um, the Wisconsin Federation of Nurses and Healthcare Professionals, we're standing together with hourly workers, with the private sector, with the public sector, with the unemployed and people who need justice when they get a job. That's right. So we urge our legislators to, to stop the sham jobs bills. Let's really get to work on direct investment to women in the workplace. And together, let's ensure that Wisconsin's open for working women.